Well, welcome back to day seven. And I said it a couple of days ago, it didn't feel like Christmas. It is starting to slowly feel like Christmas only because I got stuck in traffic and had to do some shopping. So let's get into it. Day seven, another whiskey brand that we all love is the Nikka and one that I haven't had the chance of actually trying before. So this is going to be interesting. Uh, it is a blend. It's actually interesting. Nikka from the barrel, we all now know is Ben Nevis. So Nikka actually have a very good relationship with Ben Nevis, if you didn't know, and some Ben Nevis is in here. Plus also whiskey from both of their own Nikka distilleries. So one's located in Sendai, the other one is located up on the North Island in Hokkaido. So very interesting, very different flavor profiles from all three distilleries, not just there too. This is my first time trying it. This is also one of the, the newest releases that they've actually put out. Nikka stopped a lot of releases. They took away the age statements because they just ran out. They are coming back to do some more at some stage. They've already released that information. They're not telling us exactly when, uh, but we would assume it's probably a 10 year old because it's been nearly 10 years since they took off the age statement ones. So this one is Nikka Sessions Blended Malt. Um, I'm very excited to try this. Again, have not tried it before. Wow, okay. There was something on there that I just couldn't pick that I don't think I've really smelt in a whiskey before. And it's got hints of mint and spice coming through. And you know what? It's not a hint of mint. I'm actually getting that a lot more than anything else. And that apple, which I think we had on another, pro another one before, which was a green apple, I can't remember. This is gonna be interesting. Okay, so they're saying black currant on the actual nose. I'm actually getting it on the actual taste, on the palate of that. This drops out really super quick though. What's the ABV? It's only a 40%. This drops out so quickly. That is such an easy, easy drinker that I've got some of that black currant, 100% on the actual uh, palate, fruit, fruit, yep, okay, oak, no, not getting any spices come through at all, not getting any peatiness at the end of it as well, definitely getting that, that malted barley coming through, but I'm not getting any smoke, I'm not getting any spices at all from that, that is, I don't want to say it, that's actually kind of, that's actually a disappointing whiskey in the sense of, I thought, that they would bring so much more flavor profile to that than what I'm actually getting from it. Maybe I'm having an off day because this is regarded as a very well-known whiskey and very much liked whiskey. Again, I'd love to know, have you tried it? What are your thoughts on it? Have you been to the Nikka Distillery? I'd love to go back again. It's been so many years and they've done a renovation since, but it just doesn't hit hard enough for me. Again, 40%, it's just too low. Oh, I'll catch you tomorrow.